foot and a half out, Namajira, followed further back behind them by King Risker, Fred's Metal, Zabadoo kicks with Lord Beaumay, they beat off into range, Lord Beaumay and Zabadoo having a two horse war, it's Zabadoo on the inside responding from Lord Beaumay, Lord Beaumay comes again from Zabadoo, they split it, Lord Beaumay, Island Force straightened in front, two lengths over Bull Durham, Dane's Mystery, here's the favourite now from Mathalo and Kenny Jack, but Dane's Mystery grabbed the lead, a hundred to go from Bull Durham going with him, it's Dane's Mystery, Bull Durham comes back, Dane's Mystery, Bull Durham, Dane's Mystery, Dane's Mystery. 187, they've run 104.82, 104.82, and Dane's Mystery has made it seven wins from ten starts. They straighten up, Anecdotal's the leader from Dark Target, called upon her. Lara's theme getting up near the fence, but it's Anecdotal in front from Dark Target. Anecdotal responding, Dark Target flat as a biscuit second. Anecdotal from Dark Target, here comes Lucina, but Anecdotal wins. Anecdotal a half length. And ladies and gentlemen, that is a new Ascot track record. And today has been broken by this very talented Lord Dane cult, Anecdotal, who carried the Hatesbury Stunt colours to Mr. Straight inside the 300, Happy Shante, the leader. His big Dane Crusher on the outside, two lengths away, was given vision, and then came Jake's sister. It's Dane Crusher and Happy Shante in a battle royale. Happy Shante and Dane Crusher. Dane Crusher's too strong, too powerful, and he draws away Dane Crusher. Three Downsman is in the middle, and that expedition which is out there, wide hand too, trying to bullock into the open, and they're followed further back behind them by Kate North switching to the extreme outside as Denmark and races alongside of fire from ice and heads him off 200 out Denmark and quickly drops a gear races more than a length fire from ice hand to ya ya lad running on but Denmark is going to win easily untouched the raps were right about him Denmark at a length and a half to ya ya well the raps have been very very strong for five Denmark and look at the ease of that victory Paul Harvey there had a choker hold on this chestnut son of Lord Dane and he has won with a couple of years to spare. Most impressive debut. Big but he's power packed, uh, got a lot of talent, got a really good length to stride you know. Um, this is the first of the Lord Danes and he's the excitement. Leads narrowly, no questions being niggled at by Nucky on straightening. Going up to join them is Rip. Behind them, Denmark at two lengths, lock the vault, followed by Siesta Park at the 300. It's hand two, leading no questions. He's flat to the floorboards, the filly. Rip coming out after the stable, made 150 to go. Hand two's in front from Rip. Denmark at then lock the vault, no questions, can't win. Hand two in front, Rip trying hard to haul him in, and Denmark it's coming now. Denmark had got the split, grabbed hand two on the line, and Denmark at As they come up the rise now, and it's Stratum and Denmark at their stride for stride. Denmark it is laying it down to Stratum. It's Stratum in front. He's had to get a little bit busy. Denmark it's got level with him, and De Beers is coming up on the outside. Stratum's in a bit of bother here. De Beers and Denmark it coming at him. Stratum is headed by Denmark it. Denmark it's in front, and Denmark it will win it from either De Beers or.